Hello and welcome to Boarding Party's D&D Campaign. Featuring Bentley Woods, CJ, D. Blackwater, Milo Reuter, and Phoebe Wilhelm. I'm Drew, the Game Master for the Laris region. With plenty of time remaining before he can rejoin his friends, Milo is confronted by Wadsworth, bearing a message from somewhere beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome to the first segment of Session 107 of Boarding Party. Now, at the end of the last one, I left our our tots in a in different potentially dangerous situations. Now you may recall Milo and his, his friends had just finished a triathlon of sorts. It became a quadathlon. It did become a quadathlon. Yeah. yeah. I don't um, know if there's more. <laughs> there probably is, but I don't know it. Yeah. Um, following these fun events, there was something quite alarming, and that was that Wadsworth was standing in front of his sort of archway, doorway, meditation sanctum. And his entire arm has gone that ghostly pale white, akin to the moon touch. And I left you there. I left you hanging in that moment. You You know, and they know, and we'll deal with them another time. But you know you have an hour before the manor doors are opened. Ugh. So you are stuck in here no matter what happens. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right now. Okay. Wadsworth is standing in front of his entryway. Okay. With an all-white arm. Okay. And his eyes are missing the traditional Wadsworth flare. Uh, okay. Um, coming from the festivities... Uh, I'm holding some scraps of paper and a pen and some ideas I was writing down. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe a uh, a cup. And uh, I just said a really funny joke to Arjan. Uh-huh. Um, kind of laughing at it. Turn, see him, and just drop everything. Very good. Stereotypical cup landing on the ground. There's a nice little slow mo moment of the it falling milk flies yep, out yep. all over the floor. Yep. Arjan goes <sighs> at the spilled milk. Yep. Very uh, good. And just kind of taking it in for a second, because I knowing what I know about this affliction, mm-hmm. I am judging to see if he's about to start attempting to rip apart my team. Okay. Or if he is coming down to say something. Throw for me an insight check, Mr. Reuter. And I'm going to give you advantage because you and Wadsworth share a link. God. Uh, Unnatural 20. Okay. Wadsworth is currently unavailable. Hmm. Okay. As the Golduck vessel in front of you mm-hmm. approaches approaches is a poor word it it remains stationary but from that non spectral white arm a long psionic blade appears in the hand crystallizing in that in that free hand in that moment locking eyes with you and everything else fades away as your team kind of nervously reading the situation begins to back up. Okay. And you feel, presumably in the glove, Mm -hmm. a connection being offered to you. Okay. You hear words in your brain that I may butcher the pronunciation of, but gosh darn it, I'm going to try anyway. (laughs) Aladi Yasir Fi Yalamin. And I'm going to tell you right now who this message is from. Okay. Can, can you say it again or am I... You, absolutely. Okay. Aladi Yasir Fi 
Yalamin. I wrote that down phonetically, so it's Perfect. really funny. Yep, that's good, because over here, it's very... <laughs> it's a mess. I, I, I dug too deep. Okay. In... Now this message... Yeah. It's coming from the Prime Mind. Ay ay ay. okay. And it is being channeled through Wadsworth to you right now. Oh god, okay. Would you like to accept this message? I I think yes, I would accept it thinking that maybe Oh, do I fully understand that this is to me? Yes. Okay. You get the uh, very distinct impression immediately. The words have no meaning to you. Mm -hmm. They might soon. Yeah. Um, but it is a title that is being bestowed upon you. Okay. In this moment. And it's that your dog would like to come in. Yeah. Hi, friend. Prime mind is all knowing. Yes. Um, <laughs> Grover it, is at the door. So, yes, I will accept because if he has the ability to do this. <laughs> He could have already probably killed me if he mm -hmm. wanted to. So, uh, yeah, I'll, let's... You accept the message? Yeah, I accept the message. Very good. Mr. Reuter. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself and Wadsworth kind of fade away. You, f you feel as though you are simply a base consciousness adrift in an astral sea. Mm -hmm. And you look down, and similar to your visions in the cave with Tua, mm -hmm. a sort of gateway, perhaps a portal has opened for you. And as you kind of float above your yourself, you see your crystal and Wadsworth's in his hand both mm -hmm. begin to glow, and that moment is frozen in time. Okay. And out from this sort of astral soup floats a very tall, very sort of lanky, exhausted Alakazam. Okay. Floating towards you. You see it, and it sees you. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Please real do, quick? yeah. Uh, rewinding a smidge. Yeah. On, Back it up. With my insight, mm -hmm. uh, Wadsworth is relaying this message. If, was I able to tell if this was voluntary? Um, you were not. Okay. It was, it was sort of an unknown okay. quantity. So, like, I don't know if... Wadsworth's like, okay, let me help Relay, or if he just took over his body for a second. And... Yes, the only thing you're sort of able to pick up is that Wadsworth wasn't really there. Okay. So, um, yeah, I definitely need to figure this out, because <clears throat> if I anger him, he might just kill my friend, too. Yes. And you hear that title once more bestowed upon you. Aladi Yasir fi alamin. Uh, he just says that to me? Mm hmm Okay. And, and he bows. Oh. Okay. Uh, and, and you're the Prime Mind? That is the human name given to me, yes. In the way that your kind call you Milo. Interesting. But to me, you are Aladi Yasir Fi Alamin. Um. You it, bear the crystal. Yeah, yeah, I do. I bore it for a time. Oh. I was in your tongue, its guardian. Oh. Um, I stand before you now, humble and apologetic for the current state of your friend, and I come to offer a solution to perhaps both of our issues. Okay. I, uh, hold on. Uh, is this... Do we have a limited amount of time? Are we allowed to converse? I'm asking him this. I have stretched a moment into a thousand. Okay. You have as long as you need. Okay. Aladi. Um. First off, um, I have apparently a lot of misconceptions about you. Um. This is super weird because he looks. I'm assuming absolutely nothing like what I envisioned for the new tree. Yeah, you're you're yeah. you're envisioning of him. He's got like horns yeah, yeah. and like red eyes, and he's super jacked. This is an Alakazam that looks hundreds of years old okay. and exhausted. Big bags under the eyes. That sort of usual, like, mustache okay. is kind of gone gray and white and okay. is just very long and scraggled. Um, I, well, I'm, I'm a child, so I'm probably yes. not good at 
at projecting this the way I want to be. Sure. But Milo is like, he's coming at me like kind of peacefully. Mm -hmm. I'm going to maintain this peace yeah. to get any information that I can. Yeah. Even though I still don't trust him. Sure. Um, be like, oh, okay, cool, dude. Um, so is this like the stone then? Like, am I, are me and Wadsworth the guardian now? Or are we just kind of like... The two of you together, yes. In your tongue would be guardian. Interesting. Okay. And um, when you say you apologize for this... Yes. You have, What do you mean by that? You know what causes this? Primarily, I apologize for... supplanting his consciousness for the moment. Oh, I see. Okay. But also for the nature of the lunar corruption yeah are, that affects his form are you saying that like you had a hand in bringing that to be or you're sorry like i'm sorry to hear that you're sick the latter okay um, i have long battled and i am tired yeah. i do not wish this any more than your kind does yeah i've i've heard that uh you're locked into combat with our champion. In a sense, yes. Hmm. We are bound in much the same way that you and I are now. But in a much less friendly manner. Interesting. How come our interaction is friendlier? Because I think you can help both of us. And in exchange and as a token of Goodwill, I offer you a cure for Wadsworth, as you call him. And it is yours to take, whether you hear me out or not. If it is your wish, I will release you right now. And we need never speak again. But know that the next time we meet, should it happen, it will not be so peaceful. Um... Okay, do I have to decide right now? We have as long as you need. Well, I mean, like, can we continue to talk about it? Absolutely. And then I decide? I don't have yes. to, like, like, can you do me a favor and, like... There are... I will... Tell me what it is first. <laughs> as a... To use one of your terms, to extend an olive branch and perhaps encourage negotiation. Okay. The cure for your friend. Mm-hmm. There are three. In existence? In your possession right now. Oh, yeah. I. To mention nothing of the elixir of the gods that you hold. Yes, I am aware. Okay. No, I will not take them from you. Okay. Um... You may sever his arm. Oh. Cutting off the point of corruption. Okay. You may put him in contact with the... Purifier. Catalyst that you also carry with you. I believe it is on the one you have named Pip. Oh, okay. However, yep. that is a one-time deal. Oh. I offer you this freely. The third option... Well, this would be the fourth, right? This would be the third. Well, because it's... To say nothing of Ambrosia. Oh, okay. Your third option. If you accept my deal... I will leave his corruption crystallized on the floor of your manor. It will be inert and harmless, and may be familiar to you and your friends. I believe your scientists refer to it as a moonstone. Oh, boy. If you wish, that can be arranged. That's a power that you have to just extract it? That is a power I have. It is one I would, in truth, prefer to give to you. But I understand there is a layer of distrust. I mean, okay. Can we... You have questions. Yeah, can we roll back a little bit? Absolutely. Um, our introduction to you was, was negative merely in theory and by name by uh, I don't know if you want to call it an entity known as cause <laughs> and 
for what felt like a really long time um, was just out to get us or doing things to both people and Pokemon that we just couldn't permit. And knowing that he said that you were his boss, how could we not think ill of you? These are fair questions. I would posit one of my own. If I am bound in endless combat, Mm -hmm. how could I be anywhere else? I cannot reach my scions. They act untethered. This cause was a heretic. Took my teachings to the extreme. Tell me, are you aware of the censorship of the war? Yes. Very much so. It is very peculiar. Then please, Aladi, take this moment to think for yourself. Which is more likely? That I would erase the minds of your people and leave only an ill taste of my kind? Or that your people would do so to me? I am but one. A scion, a powerful one, at that. But which is more likely? I understand where you're coming from, and especially, you know, as a group, we think that... We think the latter already, that um, it definitely doesn't seem like their minds have been erased or altered. It seems like something that people are choosing to not... Um, acknowledge so on that front you know it's it is a rhetorical however there's still you know you say you're in endless combat with the champion of our side it's that alone is hard to shake in terms of you know if everything was uh looking good and you weren't the the bad guy in this picture that that wouldn't still be happening yes I would imagine your propaganda agents are as powerful as mine were your champion Mm -hmm. seeks to claim this psychic stone to use your parlance for herself I would see it entrusted to you Aladi Mm. I would have you Seek us out. D- Destroy both of us. Set mm. us free. Hmm. Um. What What are you calling me? Hmm. What is that? Aladi Yasir fi Alamin. Yeah, what is that? We have long had a legend of a being who could walk in both worlds. That's mine <laughs> and yours. Uh huh. You can speak. With the Trico that travels with you. Yeah. You are bound inimitably from the Golduck beneath us. True. You have always put my kind before your own. I have seen your actions, Uh, Aladi. Okay. You are young, Mm -hmm. and your experience is limited. Mm -hmm. I am not saying that tomorrow you would take up this mantle. Mm -hmm. But I have existed beyond time for a very, very long age. Um. Let's say, before we get to the how. Certainly. Let's say I do this for you and I succeed. And both of you are destroyed and that chapter of history is closed as it is at face value. Like, I'm not going to pretend that either you or the champion have some secret backup plan should that happen. Just face value. If I were to do that, let's say I take up this guardian role, what what does that mean for me as a person? Because I feel like... uh 
in our experience, that is a very uh, important job. And everything we've met that is a guardian is um, a lot more capable than I feel like I could achieve as a human. Where, like, if you were to free Wadsworth here and we were to take that journey and we were to succeed, he would be a better candidate. I believe that the world as it stands now, one guardian for each element, mm -hmm. is too limited. It places an emphasis on power sure. rather than peace. Okay. Imagine, if you will, Aladi, mm -hmm. a world in which you and this Golduck are both guardian. I would... A speaker from each side. Yeah. Okay. With you as the bridge. So, hear me out, because that, uh, that, uh, it's a song that I like to sing. Um, right there, that theme. I would love to do that with Wadsworth. But is there the means with which to A, do that, and B, promote it? For example, I'm sure you know of other beings that have stones or are guardians. Yes. Could they also partner with a human and create more bridges in that sense? It may take some convincing, but, Aladi, the ignition of the war, as taught by your people, mm -hmm. is one of light versus darkness, is that correct? Uh, pretty much. I would encourage you to open your third eye, if you will, to again use a parlance of your people. Consider for a moment that the war had been started because I shared this idea. That power should be shared. Mm -hmm. Not given, not taken. Mm -hmm. Shared mm -hmm. among all. There were those on both sides that denied that this is the way things should be. Your organizations formed around these ideals. And bloody war waged for three hundred years. Mm -hmm. Leaving thousands dead <laughs> in, in Fola. <laughs> um. I cannot promise that it will be an easy path. Yeah. Or that I can even help you much. But there are others like me that remember my teachings. And if they hear them from you, they will come to know you as well. As Aladi Yasir Fi Alamin. You could be the one to achieve the dream that I had for our kinds. Um. Who are the, is there anyone on that list that you're saying that I have maybe come in contact with? The hostile ones or the friendlies? Uh, to speak from me to you. Let's say let's say a little bit of both. I believe you have met several from both sides. There is one individual I believe you are quite familiar with. She goes by the sign of Rosalie. Hmm. She is a more recent adeptee of this idea of balance with nature. You have seen her structure, yes? Yeah. And how it works to mm -hmm. unify several different elements. Yeah, that makes sense. Would you be at all surprised to learn that there are no fewer than three guardians in that building? Holy smokes. Uh, one of lightning, one of nature, and one of the crude materials made by man. Metal, I mean, steel. Yeah, as you, uh, as you mentioned that and I think about it, it becomes a little clearer for sure. Um, 
but yeah, we didn't even uh, think about that in any capacity. Um, when you say of nature... Yes, I believe the humans have taken to calling it grass. Yeah. Greenery. I was under the impression that it was not, it was something else. And not that. Because I'm... You have met the, the grass guardian, to yeah. use your words. Yeah. The Tropius. Mm, yes. Yes. Tropius is a warden. Mm. Powerful one. I see. But a warden. Gotcha. When next you are out of this manor, mm -hmm. look about you and see the power when my teachings are taken to the extreme. The Tropius would need to be put down. What? Are you Take mm, a look around. The yeah. explosive growth of vegetation. Yeah. That is that was shocking. This entire region has lost habitats of rock and ground. Mm -hmm. Of fire, sunlight, desert. It's all gone. Yeah. Replaced by jungle. Yeah. And it will only get worse. When you reach Greengate, and you will. I will be sure of it. You will notice changes there as well. Green Gate has been allowed to stand for so long without incursion by any of my agents or those acting in my name in my absence. Because the people there know how to live within the confines of nature. They know what to do. Rosalie was one such. She knows how to combine various elements to make each one greater than the sum of its parts. The Brute, Jax. Mm -hmm. He nearly saw the light, but couldn't put hatred aside. I would caution you from discussing this conversation with him. Rosalie may not understand directly, but I think she could in time. You are familiar with the Watalongan native, Remy? Mm hmm. He and his partner are the shining example of what I would see for the whole world. A guardian in your world and mine. And he is someone that, if I were to approach with this, is already understanding of your teachings? Or are you just saying he as an example? He may not know it comes from me, but he follows them well. Okay. Is he not in cahoots with the water guardian already? You speak of the large for alligator? Mm-hmm. I'm skirting around things mm -hmm. in case he doesn't know, but he knows everything. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop <laughs> doing this. Yes. Aladi, if it is your wish, as a measure of thanks for speaking with me this long, when you leave this space with me, you will do so with the location of each guardian to which I am aware, if it is your wish. But I will caution you, the information must be kept secret. And some secrets are better left as such. What I mean to say, Aladi, is I would trust you with this information. I would not trust your companions. Not in their current state of mind. But if it is something that you wish, then you will have it. Okay. I mean, if the goal is to create these bridges and these connections, it would definitely help even just on the context of understanding that, say, Tropius is not in fact a guardian and that I'm not communicating with the correct being. So I would, I would accept that. Very well. Then a list of name, ranking, 
and location shall be provided to you for the entities of which I am aware. Of rank? Yes. When you say... To me, they would be a scion or a protectorate. To you, they would be a guardian or a warden. I see. Okay. I will provide your titles so as to avoid confusion. Okay. Um... All right, getting back to the request at hand. Um, you've thrown me several bones. We will discuss some bits on your end. Um, I guess let's start with where would we find you guys to even do that? We are located 17 miles to the northwest of Green Gate's entrance. You will um, not see us when you arrive. You will see only a ring of stones. All that is needed is to break the circle. And the deed is done, or that's how we see you? And the deed will be done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We are bound forever in this circle, unable to die as your friends are. Okay. Um, I would like to insight check that. Yeah, please do. Uh, 23. 23. Um, he is telling the truth to your knowledge, but okay. something catches you awry. Mm -hmm. And it is the last thing he said to you. We are unable to die like your friends are. Okay. Um... Can I just ask him for clarification on that then? Yeah. Uh, what what do what do you mean by by that? You're unable to die like us. Does that mean we have to? Oh, not you. And he will hold his hands out and show you the reverse side of the moon. Oh God. Okay. On the surface of which you see Bang. I. Uh, okay. Gumi. Mm-hmm. Haka. Mm-hmm. Huntail. They're on the moon. Dragon. Your friends never returned. Aladi. None of them ah, did. See. Okay. Wadsworth's return is quite recent. I borrowed him to speak to you. I do not know by what force he was puppeted about, but something was researching you. I have severed that connection as a token of goodwill. Wait, so... Hold on. Wadsworth's still on the moon? He was. He is no longer. And as you look up there, he is no longer there. So, there was an imposter from... Yes. Then to now? Ah, oh, God. <laughs> Rest assured, the moment you entered Master Tuwa's chambers... Mm-hmm. The connection was muted, so it could not see or hear anything that he did. But everything you and your friends did, from opening that box till that moment, is known to the entity that lies dormant within the moon. Now again, Wadsworth is no longer corrupted. Mm -hmm. But I would urge you to make the difficult decision. The imposters that came back mm -hmm. should be put down before the transformation is complete. Mm -hmm. It will not be easy. You uh, will have to make a difficult decision, Aladi. Yeah. Um... Can I? I'm a, I'm a smidge confused, so mm -hmm. I just want to clarify. Yeah, let's let's talk about it for a second. So, when we open the box and they all come back, and yes. Wadsworth comes back, did he come back, but in conjunction with something else, or was that not him at all? That was not him at all. Okay, that's what I needed so to that, clarify. That moment when you walked into the meditation, yeah, and saw him fighting. That was actually moon, him. That was fighting. the real good Wadsworth. God. Okay. And when he pulled you back, uh -huh. he came with you. 
Does that make sense? Okay, so at that point we at that point he switched. Yes. Sorry, I think that got lost in the yes. in the prime mind speak. But yes, from that moment when Wadsworth locks eyes with you on the moon and pushes mm -hmm. both of you out, mm -hmm. that was Wadsworth. Everything before then <sighs> was something else. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I know it's a lot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, it's it's okay. It's only been seven sessions of like deep introspection. It's all good. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna have to process that later in its entirety. So there's got to be, and I'm asking him this. Mm -hmm. I know I have other friends that are there on the moon in this condition, mm -hmm. but there's no way they're the only ones. There's got to be tons. Oh, as of the last turning of the moon, shall mm -hmm. we speak, there are hundreds. Yeah. So The town you were just in, what's left of it, mm -hmm. they're all there now as well. Countless others. People? Or just Pokemon? Both. Both? Okay. Because, like, we've seen people that are just statues. Mm-hmm. That is what is left over. They're, they're on the moon. I would draw your eyes to Wadsworth's arm, and he'll kind of pull yeah. you down, and you can see... It's kind of turning into a statue. sort of marble-esque okay. arm. Um, I have frozen his condition for now. Okay. Until we have reached a decision on what you would like to do. <sighs> um... I, okay, I, if what you're telling me is true, and you're picking me for the reasons that you say you're picking me, then there has to be a way to help both sides recover from this, other than just killing them. Yes, there is. We must destroy the seed of corruption. It lies dormant within a celestial body, and it will hatch in 59 of your days. Ay, carumba. And we have to kill that? Destroy it? Is it a thing, like a living thing, and we're going to have to fight it? Or are we going to go there and be, a be like a thing? Okay, so if... Hypothetically, we could all I get... I guess it depends on your perspective. Hypothetically, if we were able to get to the celestial body in under 59 days, we could just destroy it there. You could. It would be immensely difficult. Yeah, I don't think that's a possibility unless there's a spaceship you know about or a teleporter. Regrettably, no. Okay. Um, so, otherwise, in 59 days, this seed hatches, grows, whatever, and... If we're able to stop it, it will cure everything that has been previously... The corruption will stagnate, yes. There is a point of no return mm -hmm. to say in a way that will make sense. So... When the corruption reaches a certain point... Like Klaus. Like Klaus, yes. Can I incite that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If he's just, like, agreeing with 15... Um, he struggles with your nicknames for things. Oh, okay. Because he would have a name for what yeah, yeah. that quillfish would have been called. Okay. Um, so that was just him, like, translating internally? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's a little bit of kind of awkward translation that seems to be going on. Uh, this is like a hundreds of years old entity, and you're like 12. So let's say that, um... We don't have any ambrosia. Let's say we've used the the, the one-time use stone. Yes. And the corruption is everywhere, so amputation is not an option. Mm -hmm. But they have three days from now until they're past the point of no return. Is there something we can do? Here, here's the deal, right? Like, we have friends 
and I want to help them, but like with the resources and cures you're telling me, we can help most of them, not all of them, but then we're out. We can't do anything else. I, uh, in the last fight we had with these beings, it ended and there were three Pidgeys, innocent Pidgeys that had been taken into custody of whatever this is. And, um, you know, they were moon touched and I've caught them in pokeballs and they're sitting in stasis. I have to believe that there's a way for us to help those when this is all over, get their life back. I believe you will be capable when the time comes. Uh, okay. I believe you and Wadsworth together will be able to form a bridge, fix this spiritual unholy corruption. That is my belief. That is why I have come to you. I simply wish to rest. Once that is granted to me, my power is yours. My knowledge is yours. The mantle, if you wish it, is yours. But for now, you will be the Aladi Yasir Fi Yalamin to me and my kind. Um. Okay. I want to help. Um, I think we're going to get to where your location is that you've told me in far less than 59 days. Um, if we were to do that, is that going to set anything in motion? And by that, I mean, like, if we do that and we break the circle and mm. destroy you, and the champion. You wish to know if it will accelerate the process. Or do we still have the rest of the 59 days to prepare? I assure you our th three situations right. are separate. Okay. You would be putting an old soul to rest, letting a honorable warrior finally find peace. Yeah, something tell, can I insight that real quick? Yeah. Okay. Well Seventeen. Seventeen. He he puts a little vinegar on honorable warrior, mm -hmm. but he just seems tired. Cause to me, even the picture that was painted beforehand of what they just said and what we've learned previously of this being a trainer that has like sought out stones, curb stomp gyms, dominated the league. Mm -hmm. I don't think in. I don't care how long they're fighting. They, I don't. I feel like they don't want to stop. Like us going in and being like, "Okay, you're done. Yeah, you're done now." Like they'd be mad. That's a totally <laughs> fair conclusion to draw. This is just what the prime mind would relay to you. Yeah. So I'll say you probably catch a little glimmer of that, and it and it contradicts what you've heard for sure. Mm -hmm. I'll say that's fair. Um, but the prime mind seems completely unfazed by whatever that champion's ideals might be. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I want peace. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I want for, for me and my people. Yeah. I want peace. Because... At any cost. To me, it sounds like, as a character, mm -hmm. Milo's not the biggest battle-hungry person. And hearing about someone that is seeking stones to then just dominate in battle doesn't necessarily sound like a good person either. It in the time, the way we heard the story, you can pass it off as this person is taking that uh, desire slash ability to gain the power that they need to then save the world in what could be called the ultimate battle, if you will. But in this context, makes it sound like they want to win get yet another stone and then continue to literally dominate everything because uh, if you're getting all the power in the known world 
you know at the top there's going to be not a living being that could come close to touching you. So if you're in it for the thrill of the battle, why are you trying to keep the odds so off kilter? That's how he's kind of internally processing this and why it's easier to sway to this version of the story. Um, okay. Um, if we get to Green Gate, we find this ring of stones and you say break the circle. Yes. Do you mean literally kaboom or just like move one of the rocks out you of the need way? Only move any stone. Ay ay ay. Okay. They will all be touching. I oh, need only oh, the slightest break. Oh. In that circle. That's Is this an it has to be in a kind of difficult position then, don't you think? Cuz I have a hard time thinking that wouldn't happen on accident. You are correct. The journey will not be easy. Is there, to that point, is there anything, like, protecting it? Like, if I'm we walk I up, you don't, don't know? know okay. I've been bound in that circle for so long that my sight is blinded to it. Because my concern is, okay, here's another question then, because this might help our research. Mm -hmm. You're in this circle fighting the champion. Is it just you and the champion? Or, like, the champion and their whole team? It is the champion and all of their companions. All of their companions? All of them. Okay, so I'm not going to go up and there's going to be, like, one of them just standing guard, ready to... To my knowledge, no. But again, the area is clouded to my eyes. I can see and hear many things. How do you feel about runes? They are quite useful. The runes of the Etiolans are a product of one of my earliest pupils. Hmm. One who realized that nature is something all creatures should live within, not in spite of. The runes, as you have seen, have many useful measures. And I'm assuming when you're talking about these pupils, they're long gone. This was like forever ago, hundreds of years ago. Many, many of your generations. Okay. Um, and y <laughs> I'm talking to you right now, but you're also in there still. This yes. is our. Are you and or the champion and their team impacted by any way of the this corruption, this moon touched business? We are no longer of your world. I see. We are stuck we are in that beyond. bit. Okay. Yes. Um What kind of challenge can we expect? when this thing hatches? There will not be much of a challenge, I fear, if you are not ready. I have not seen your vision. I know you have been granted one, but it is not for me to know. Mm. Master Tua has graced you. But I do fear his visions are very rarely incorrect. Mm. Mm. If hubris gets in the way of sensibility when the time comes, there will not be a world to bridge. And this world will very much resemble the cracked shell that the beast arises from. Got it. I do not know of any inverse forces. For I did not know that this was a threat. Okay. So, yeah, we were kind of kicking around that idea of if something was living in the moon, that something may have been living in the sun. But not at all. I mean, if you didn't know it was in the moon, you wouldn't know otherwise. You are correct. Um... I, 
I want to rephrase my previous question mm -hmm. when I asked uh, what like level of challenge, yeah. which I think is how the question was perceived. Mm -hmm. But what I mean to ask is what type of challenge in that, like, because of the way we're talking, is this just going to be a senseless beast that we have to fight? Is this going to be something that is hatching so it's young and naive and we need to teach it and and like we're talking about bridge this relationship and live with it um is it a uh you know like a survivability thing like oh, it's gonna do this and if we can make it through a week we're fine like that's kind of if that makes sense that is unknown to me okay i will continue to look wherever i can but I am not often afforded respite. It is only while your champion sleeps I am able to search beyond our bindings. Okay. To research. Um, I would encourage you, Aladi, to mm -hmm. find a way to live with this entity. For if it is truly a being of nature, then it should be lived with and not in spite of. However, mm -hmm. if it is an abomination, a creature beyond the natural order, then you must do whatever it takes to protect it. The natural order, so to speak. Realize that may have been lost. Yeah, not the thing itself. Yes. It may suck a butt, but gotta protect it. Uh -huh. It's your baby now. Yep. Um, Congratulations. <laughs> um, How to maybe it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm scooping what you're pooping. Um I don't understand, but it seems as though you do. Yes. I am shocked at the amount of parallels that what you present align with my own uh thoughts and beliefs. Um And I think that I will pursue this course at present time. I have just one ask. Of course. You talk about, you know, being able to extract this corruption and yes. it becomes a moonstone. Um, that is one method, yes. Yeah. Um, actually, I've got a couple questions. You may ask as many as you have, Aladi. All right. Uh, on that front, piece. you're extracting as a moonstone. Does that mean... I don't think anyone has a moonstone, to my remembrance, but... I'm fairly certain nobody does. Yeah, okay. But if we were Otherwise, to... Otherwise, big oops <laughs> yeah. on my part. <laughs> Um, if we were to come across a moonstone, cause I've heard about it in passing and mm -hmm. let's say it's not out of the realm of possibility that potentially Bentley's dad has one. Mm. Are all moonstones made up of that? At their core. Yes. But it is when the energy becomes inert without a host. Got it. It'll crystallize. Got it. And there are some species capable of taking advantage of that latent energy without destroying themselves. Sure. Um, there is one such among you who would benefit greatly from one of these. Um, a newer companion. Um, hold on. Hold on. Um, I can do this. Um, oh, uh, God. Deerling? Correct. She is quite in tune with celestial bodies. She may be quite useful in the fight to come. Interesting. Okay. Um, you speak of the normal stone, or what we assumed was the normal stone. Yes, the purifier. Yeah, being a one-time use. If are, you use it for that purpose. Yes. Are there any side effects? Not for the creature that touches the stone. For the stone, there will be immense consequences. 
Yeah, I, I kind of may disrupt the natural order for decades to come. I if not see. Centuries. So that's like the actual stone, not like a piece. It is a piece. Yes, but it would still. But it would be have an impact on that level in a similar way that Wadsworth's arm is a piece of him. The stones communicate even over long distances across space. Okay, so we should probably not do that. But if we were to do it hypothetically, just for sake of convenience, we were to say use it on Wadsworth to remove whatever corruption he has, he would not have anything else happened beyond removing it. He would return the- to a physical state but before he entered that extra dimensional realm. Okay. The corruption would leave him in short, but the corruption must go somewhere. And so it would go to the stone? It would go to the stone. Okay, got and it. And to use terms that would make sense for you, you would be creating a lunar stone. Got it. Okay. Which would then corrupt the land and the creatures within it. Absolutely. That makes sense. Um, Is it too much to ask for you to extract the corruption of those in my party? If they were truly here with us. Oh, so you can literally only do it in here. I can do it for Wadsworth. Dang. The rest of your friends do reside on the moon. Uh, There is little I can do for them. Okay. If it would ease your consciousness, I can tell you how long you have to save them. Um, But I imagine that knowledge may not be helpful. You know what? I think that uh, if I'm to do this and take on this role and try to facilitate being a bridge, that knowledge would be helpful because there are going to be times regardless where I'm going to have to make (laughs) even more difficult decisions and uh, bad news or not information is helpful with making those very well Aladi Mm -hmm. you have 28 days for all but one of your friends okay the primate. Mm-hmm. I have only 15, I fear. The way in which he has been fighting back is quite hazardous to him. Got it. He would be better off either giving over or giving up. I know it is not easy to hear. Mm-hmm. But that is your job as he who walks between worlds. You must make the difficult decisions. Yeah. Now I offer you... I offer you a gift, Mm -hmm. Aladi. Okay. Should you accept my offer, I will heal Wadsworth. Mm -hmm. And I will bring the primate to you. Okay. And we can attempt an extraction. Though admittedly, I do not know how far gone he is. Okay. Well, but when you say attempt an extraction, what does that entail? We will need to subdue him, of course. Mm-hmm. And by we, I, I do mean you. Yeah. For I am not fully here. Um. I will correct Wadsworth's corruption before then. So he may assist you. But if things go wrong, you will need to kill the primate. The choice is yours, Aladi. And I do not envy you. It is a difficult one. In that sense, if you're going to perform an extraction Mm -hmm. on Bang... Yes. I'm bringing... You're bringing Bang back to us, to me, specifically, yes. in the manor. Mm-hmm. Let's say this extraction works. What's in the Pokeball? Something that must then be destroyed. The simulacra will not fade mm. if I bring you the genuine article. So, in theory, could we just, like, encase this Pokeball in concrete and 
You could, but every full moon there is always a chance. The human devices are effective, but they have their limits. Mine were far more useful yeah. in the long term. You are still in possession of one. Of a what? Sorry. I was thinking the about... Capture it. device. Yes. One of my designs. Oh, yeah. It resides in this manner. Oh, what? The pieces... Have... Like the fleshy ones? Yes. They have congealed yet again. It... Okay, that's a whole other question. Mm -hmm. And that would be able to capture the the bad thing? Is that what you're saying? Sorry, I was you could, thinking yes. about a bajillion things. I completely missed like the last two sentences you yeah. said. He, he said that the human capture devices are quite useful. Yeah. But they have their limits. Okay. Because they're based on his. Oh, uh, okay. And his were far more effective. His was the prime ball. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, so the flesh ball, so to speak, could be used to save something. And in no small way, it is being hinted that that is the extraction, is using one of these. That confuses me greatly. It's meant to. Okay. Because if, if you just bring Bang, if you bring the primate yes. into here. He will view you as an enemy. Yeah. But I don't you have... must subdue him. Yeah. In the traditional human fashion. Of just beating him down. Correct. Uh, but you the, must not kill him. Yeah. I mean the... Or the extraction will fail. The bright side is I have my entire team. Yes. And we're in a magical manner where I could do things to help you could. restrain him. And strategically thinking, Bang is not that smart. <laughs> so You're I don't think not wrong he at all. would use that against me, even if he saw me doing it. Yep. Um, Bang works purely on rage and instinct. So I... I think we could even come up with like a, a big Snorlax that so he's like, that's a big kicking target, but it's like a, a giant like suction marshmallow and his foot just gets stuck in it. Like, uh, and then the more he moves, the more stuck he gets. <laughs> and then we can extract him. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about putting that ball back together because you say it's in pieces and it I also is, don't know where it the, has congealed. the pieces are they're not in pieces anymore it has congealed my designs were efficient oh my god and then what do we just throw that at the primate you don't even need to throw it and you it just need to will it towards him and it will extract what the corruption harmlessly I assure you in the long term. He will hate it in the moment. Okay, so I, this may be where I'm being confused then. Mm -hmm. So when he says he's going to bring Bang here, yep. it's the... It is the actual Bang that is currently on the moon. Yeah. In the process of becoming moon touch. Okay, so it would remove whatever process has already happened. You would, you would bring the actual Bang, yeah. not the simulacrum that's in the ball. Correct, yeah. But in the Pokeball would be... A similarly moon-touched imposter? Yeah. Okay. It would be the bang that you have all known since he came back. It would be yeah, yeah. that entity of yeah, pure yeah. rage. Okay. Um. Got it. Um, so genuine bang will return. Okay. If you do it. You do not have to. Mm, but I do. But you do. I mean, if you're saying there's a chance that I could There's a strong save him. chance. I Aladdin. mean, it, it, here's the deal, right? And uh, it, and I think this is why you've picked me and my ego's being stoked here. 
but if you had said that you would bring that Pidgey's soul back right now, a, a chance of that, I have to go for it. It doesn't really... I'm going to try... The are not too far gone. If that is your wish, it, we can discuss them as well. I mean... Because they are here. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah. Um, My powers are limited to pluck a life from the moon. Oh, only one, though? Is that... No, the Pidgeys are here. Yeah. I would have to bring the Primeape to you. Yeah, and that's limited to one. That is limited to one. Okay. If so, it is your wish, we can choose another. No, 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 no. I, that makes sense because due to the time constraint. We've got two extra weeks almost for the other ones. Um, and... We have other methods, as stated to do this but if there's a chance I have to go for it but if the Pidgeys are easy I'm not gonna say no to that I will show you a method when all else is concluded okay all right um one last question certainly I know we've all been calling you the prime mind but what's mm. your name Mutahadith Kathir um, one more time. Mutahadith. Wu. Mu. Mu. Mutahadith. Kathir. Um. Are those multiple names, like first name, last name, or is that that's all one big? Like the way you're saying it, it sounds like Mutahadith is his first name, and then Kadir is his last name. It is. It is two words. Okay. But one name. Okay. His uh, from what you're gathering. The prime mind and why he struggles so much to relate to your names for things mm -hmm. is to to his mind everything has a title. So you are Aladi. Okay, sure, sure. So on and so on. Okay. Where he would be Mutahadith Kathir. Okay. Which in his tongue means speaker of many. Mm -hmm. And in yours means prime mind. Okay. One for all. Gotcha. Okay. Um I I'm not going to lie, I still feel a little bit skeptical. However, like I said, a lot of what you say aligns with my beliefs and if you are truly who and what you say you are, to me this is exactly how you would act to build that bridge and make that connection. And, um, I genuinely think that, uh, given what you've known and said to me today, if we were truly your enemy, we would have been stopped a long time ago. And, I'm glad uh, we could reach an understanding, Aladi. If uh, you have questions in the future, there is a vessel through which we could speak. She travels with your friend. Mana. Okay. Rest assured, she is no spy. Okay. She is simply a conduit for many things. Okay. And do I just, what do I just say your name to her and... That would work. You okay. could reach out. Okay. I um, would be mindful who was around when you I was. It. I was literally about to ask that question. Um, is there your a way... may not be so receptive. Uh, uh-huh. Um, is there a way to do so discreetly, or is it literally like, hey, Mon, I want to go in the other room? Like, if, if, I'm, if I talk to Mana as you, are you going to sound like Mana or you? Your friends will see and hear nothing. We oh. will exist as you do now. I see. It's all kind of like and phase they, out of my body. And those players will be asked to leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> to make it as obvious as I can. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I would I would boot everybody out if you wanted to okay. speak to him. Okay. Um, because there's no way they could possibly. Yeah, do. this is going to be a huge point of contention. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, yep. it's, it's going to be a big deal. However, uh -huh. I'm leaning into it. Yep. Um, That's why I was so excited that that question came into the Discord today. Are you known by your name to anyone alive right now? Yes. By many. Um, none of your kind, though. 
Mm, okay. My kind specifically. Okay. If you are able to help these Pidgeys and my friend here, Wadsworth, too, before we get started on anything with Bang or otherwise. Of course. I'm I'm in. If I can see that show of good faith. I will heal Wadsworth for you. I will heal these Pidgeys with you. Beautiful. I will show you the ways. They will be beyond you for a time. Okay. But the stone is in your possession. Fully accept. It will not be long before your powers begin to manifest. Okay. You are capable of a shield. Yes. This will be useful in the days to come. Okay. Are you ready? Very. Take my hand, Aladi. And he'll hold out a very, like, gangly, spindly <laughs> Alakazam hand to you. Um... Uh, Milo will reach out kind of tentatively at first, knowing that once this contact is made, there's no going back. Mm -hmm. And thinking that worst case scenario, he'll just die right now. Best case scenario, he gets to help all the friends and the world. And then... Okay. As you clasp hands, you return to the manor. And I'm going to stop the spooky music. As your, all of your friends, all of your pals <gasps> have backed very far away, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. As we return to that frozen moment of time, Wadsworth does not unfreeze as you walk over with the sort of, this feeling of the Mutahadith Kathir mm -hmm. at your shoulder. Mm -hmm. He will kind of float behind you as you very tentatively approach Wadsworth. And you watch as that stone white arm begins to turn back to a healthy blue. Those eyes stay glossed over, staring at where you were. Wadsworth still isn't here. Mm -hmm. And as that arm fully coalesces into a small, soft gray and black stone, mm -hmm. it thunk, collapses to the floor of the manor. And Wadsworth... Master. You feeling good? Why is a blade drawn? <laughs> we did have I a lot to talk about. Did I harm anyone? No. Then it worked. It did. I am cured. Yeah. Um, you'll forgive me this one question. I would forgive you any number. Do you remember where we met? Yes. Let me see if Drew remembers. <laughs> it was just outside of Mayburn. I felt a calling. There was a large and dangerous bird about, and I knew someone would climb inexplicably through the ground, and I knew I had to wait for them. And then you appeared. Um, in a cave dug by a diglet. Yep. Uh, yep. And, uh, Mila letting a couple of tears go, knowing that this is the real, the real deal. Yeah. He'll, uh, go hug him. Be like, mm -hmm. pass my test, buddy. I'm, I am grateful. <laughs> this is good. I am, I feel much better than I have in many days. Good. I would like to see the sun today. If it is all right with the young master. Um, sure. Is there any particular reason or just because it's the opposite of what you've been going through? It would be nice to get out for once. I had resigned myself to death. Mm. Or worse. Yeah. Um... And now a door has opened. And it has been opened by you. Uh, I just want to... I want to insight that. Yeah. God. Um, natural 20. <laughs> Wadsworth is genuinely delighted to be back and knows that you did it. Okay. I just want to make sure... Know any specifics. There's not an ulterior motive to go outside. No. That same sort of presence of the Muta Hadith Kathir mm -hmm. 
will kind of usher you towards the place where you have sort of, for lack of a better word, entombed the three Pidgeys. Yeah. And you feel your your hand kind of reach out towards them. Mm-hmm. And the balls all open. Okay. And these three healthy gray Pidgeys mm-hmm. emerge, mm-hmm. confused as yeah. all get out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you feel the the hands of the Speaker of Many kind of glaze out alongside yours, and then another set appears. Mm -hmm. And another set. Okay. Until you are surrounded by this sort of halo of six glowing golden arms. Mm -hmm. And from these hands, three very long golden fingers tap the Pidgeys on the forehead. And similar to your pal Wadsworth, this small collection of gray energy is pulled together Mm -hmm. and it coalesces before you. And you have a couple options of what you want to do with it. Mm -hmm. You can keep the potential energy for yourself, Mm -hmm. try to do something with it. Mm -hmm. You can coalesce it into the other half of the moonstone, Mm -hmm. making it a moonstone plus, so Mm -hmm. to speak. Or you can destroy it with no other consequences. These Um, are the options that open before you as these golden hands appear. I, if in destroying it, I'd still have the moonstone from the Wadsworth You would have the moonstone from Wadsworth, but you would be destroying the potential energy from these three Pidgeys. For whatever that might do for you. I'm not gonna, I can't tell yeah, to you me, what it could be used to for. To me, yeah, and yeah, no, I, I understand that. But mm-hmm. like, I'm extracting this corruption yep. and it's just there, it is there in, in an ethereal you. state and yes. I can either just erase it, uh-huh. have it add to the moonstone, yep. or what was the third bit? Um, or you can keep it. I can keep, keep it. Keep like, it separate and just hold on to the potential, kind of absorb it into yourself and mm. do something with it later. Um, 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 you get the the feeling that none of these three are particularly dangerous for you okay um do I have the knowledge that because I'm under if I get the fact that I could absorb it to no detriment Mm -hmm. should I decide in 10 minutes to destroy it could I then take it it out and delete it yes okay it is simply it is energy in potential to be as um, like smarmy and pretentious as possible. Okay. You have potential energy in front of you. Yeah. And you could do something with yeah. it. Yeah. Here's my big brain play. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I have a very strategic mind now. I'm not I'm not okay. I got smart, right? I'm not an yeah. expert tactician, but I'm not necessarily as impulsive as I was before because there are benefits and things at stake here. Yeah just learned that this could potentially benefit certain creatures yeah. i.e. deerling mm-hmm. also knowing that if we could potentially befriend the thing that hatches I might have a trace to it to build that initial first impression mm-hmm. so I think for now I'm going to keep it if there's no detriment to me Okay. I, th- I think that's a, a a benefit for the time being. Okay. Um, so denote somewhere for yourself, for your knowledge. Yeah. Um, that you have a moat of potential energy. Um, and I will tell you as a player, if uh-huh. you so choose, you can redeem it effectively as like a whoopee of inspiration okay but that would be like burning a renaissance painting to cook a meal yeah 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 sure so to speak but you could do that yeah but right now that's the only thing available to you in the current moment totally fine it's a it's a way to manipulate probability once um Okay, well, if that works... Yeah, um, those three Pidgeys sit before you, fully cured, very confused. Understandable. And kind of awaiting something, because they're yeah. just sort of sat in a cave with you, and they're like, who are you? Yeah. How did we get here? Who am I? Um, what is occurring? What is this? I will grab a handful of oats, Okay. and I will toss them out of the cave, mm-hmm. 
uh, into my good. into my bigger uh, room for birds. Your, my giant your aviary. Play space? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'll just say, go stretch your wings. And they all kind of like fly up into the uh, up into the the treehouse and take their place among the branches and kind of look down to you like very excited. They're like, mm-hmm. this place is great. They're like, how much is rent? Can we afford this? It's free. And I oh. will imagine a three story birdhouse. Yeah. Um, dangling from one of the perfect branches. Yeah. They squabble over who, who doesn't have to be in the middle. Mm, okay. And then they kind of like find their way in. Um, that is that. And, um, yeah. Uh, As the rest of your team is just kind of like in the corner. Yeah. Are we good? Yeah. Are we okay? You can see Violet the whole time. Yeah. Hand on the blade. Ready okay. to draw if she needs to. Howl is ignited. Fully like bristled and ready. You, you kind of get the impression everybody loved Wadsworth as he was. Mm-hmm. But it was kind of the case of like, okay, Bruce Banner's on the helicarrier. Yeah. At any moment, this dude could hulk out and kill us. Yeah. So they all went to like mm-hmm. defensive positions, saw that you had it, and they're like, if he moves, yeah, we got you. Okay. So that's where they're at. Um. Say, so, okay, uh, it's amazing, and uh, uh, you have yourself a deal. Um, I, I do accept the challenge of, of bang on your way out though. Very good. Then in the name of the Aladi, Yasir Fi Alamin. I beckon unto thee. Bang. There's this shrill, primal bang shriek Mm -hmm. as rocketing in from space Mm -hmm. and leaving an impact crater in the earth. Sure. Probably about two feet away from Girafferig's poo hole. (laughs) (laughs) Mercifully, he missed the, the latrine as bang impacts into the ground and then rises, glowing. Dark purple mm. tendrils still lashed onto his skin. He's sure. ripping them off, throwing them down. I need initiative okay. from anybody that wants to be involved. Everyone else, I will say, is like, we got to get out of here. Yeah. As Bang impacts in a crater in the middle of the Rooter treehouse. Or in the treehouse? Like through the. The, the dome of your... Oh, got it, got it, got it. ...room, okay. I should say. Okay. As he slams into the ground and gets sure. up and rips these tendrils off. Okay. And he's scarred and burned worse than the... Worse than the bang that came back. Mm-hmm. This one's been up there for a couple more days. Mm-hmm. Actually, another month, to be fair. So he is almost entirely moon-touched. You can see just that one arm mm-hmm. fighting as hard as it can, ripping at itself... Mm -hmm. There's, like, bald patches in the fur where he's been trying to hold back. Okay. And you feel this moment of calm at the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. The Mutahadith Kathir is with you Mm -hmm. in this moment. Okay. You feel comforted and unnerved at the same time. For sure. It's a new feeling. But as Bang hits the field, Wadsworth, quite fittingly, is first to act. Okay. Um, what are we doing? I don't have a move listed for him as yeah. far as the sword In goes. In the same way that Milo does not have anything listed for the shield. Okay. So if you want to do something with that, mm-hmm. hit me with it. Okay. Tell me what it sounds like. Um, sounds like. He's got him looking for music. The initial plan here yeah. was we, we have to restrain him. We're not trying to kill him. Uh-huh. Uh, potentially knock him out. But first and foremost, we want to try to restrain him. Um, Arjan's on a special mission. Okay. Arjan's on a special mission. He's got the nose for it. I don't even know if you can smell this in any capacity. Okay. Um, I'm listening. 
highly intrigued. <laughs> I'm trying to see who else might go. Atticus is going with him. Okay. Um. Describe for them that flesh ball, and see if they can find it. Okay. Um. Give me an investigation check from either or both. Arjan, I will say, I will allow you to smell it out. It does have a distinct smell, as as you may or may not remember. Mm -hmm. um, so Arjan, I'm gonna say you can use your sort of chefy perception abilities, um, and I'll say you can make a scent based perception. The Atakai, uh, based on your description, I want an investigation check. Okay. So I'll be a little specific there. Perception but, on Wadsworth, on, or not uh, Arjan. Arjan? Perception on Arjan. Uh, a 13. A 13, okay. And then we'll see how the Atakai do. 2d10s. 2d10s, baby! Can't crit fail, but it's a little more um, awkward to crit. Yeah, it is. You need double double winners. Yep. Uh, you said investigation? Uh-huh. And I add the number to the total, right? Not add to the each to the die. Total. Uh, five. Five! Okay. The Atakai are like, we... We hear you. We're mm -hmm. here for you. We don't know what you are. Hurt people hurt people. Yep. I don't know what that is. Sure. I don't know how to find it. Arjan okay. is like, I'm on the trail. I'm on the trail, father. I'll return soon. Okay. And you see him kind of open a little door and you see a little train. Okay. And he hops on and he's like, be back soon. Okay. To my memory. Yeah. Um, And... This is just so happening to, like, align. I'm not using player knowledge here. Uh -huh. When we would have come up with this and I would have told him to search. Yeah. I believe D, I can correct you if you, CJ, if you and Bentley, and not Phoebe, uh -huh. but the, I believe those three deposited everybody so that they had access outside the manor. Or was it just D? I think just D. Okay. There Could, are other... Well, that's kind of convenient because I would critters in the manor. I would sure. have told them to start in that room or those rooms because there wouldn't be interference. Okay. In order to search them quicker and be done and move yeah. on to the next one. Um, do you want a slight refresher because it it has been many weeks of where the flesh ball was last you saw it, or do you remember? Oh yeah, I have no idea. It was right before. The fight with Arlequino? Yeah, I remember the... Where Dee dunks it on the floor. Yeah. And, and then you he... all left it there in the foyer. Okay. For a good long while. Oh, Nobody so it's, did anything It's just with it. in the hallway. It is in the manor somewhere. Okay. It all right, well, then I'll just, Yeah, I'll just tell them. Um, I don't know if this is a, a mannerable item, but uh -huh. like a detector of... Of that. I let CJ have a detection wand <laughs> that did anything. Yeah. So sure. If okay. you're like, I know what I'm looking for, I yeah. want to remember all uh, with like an arrow in it. No, Ar to show you Arjan it is. would want for sake of yeah. convenience. I forget what the heck they're called, but like the dowsing rods that you just hold. Yeah. But it actually works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're dunking on every everything <laughs> lately, man. I'm, I'm shuffling tarot cards like they're yeah. nothing. Yeah. Um, like they're a fidget cube. So he's going to use his smell in that to try to find it. Sure. Um, then I will say the the roll stands, Arjan is kind of on the trail. Sure. He perfect. is following a device. Okay. Uh, but Wadsworth. Yes. He is going to approach Bang. Yeah. Um, and seeing that there's one hand and it's like taking... It, yeah, he's fighting doing tendrils. everything he's it can. He is going to attempt to assist in a manner that if he pulls something, hair, tendril, or otherwise, and use his psychic sword to cut it. Okay. Like, sever that. Cut some tendrils? Yeah. Cut a couple tendies? Yeah. Okay. I won't even make it roll. Okay. Bang is... Bang is... The real Bang is assisting you in this moment. Mm -hmm. And is trying to get these, these tendrils and tentacles. And to Milo's eye, this is a... Lovecraftian nightmare of a bang yeah. in front of you. It mm -hmm. is a prime ape that is in the process of becoming hairless. And it is in the process of converting its limbs into these long spindly tentacles and tendrils. And out from his back he's got like the full kind of octopus suite. And there's no room for a body in where he's headed. Okay. But Bang is still in there. Yeah, yeah. And okay. is fighting tooth and nail. So as he's pulling these tendrils towards you mm -hmm. and you start severing them, that grip gets a little bit lighter. Okay. Um, we're going to mark off some of Bang's hit points, but we're going to continue. Okay. 
Who's next? After Wadsworth, Violet. Okay. New abilities. Yep. Um, Violet is going to uh, attempt to do the same. Okay. Currently, because yeah. it seems to be working, and yeah. uh, two swords are better than one. Okay, Violet, as you run in as well, do you draw the blade, or do you just take some hacks with the sort of leaf blade, so uh, to speak? No, she would take it out, okay. the sharper end. Because I think uh, this is the first time the blade will have been drawn. Yeah, okay. It is at this point, Violet, that you're typing shifts. Okay, interesting. From grass to steel. Okay. Steel flying. Okay. Or steel bug, sorry. Yeah, okay. Whichever one it awesome. is. Awesome. In the moment. Yeah. Steel is added to you. Okay. As you draw that blade, there's that awesome samurai sword sound that I can't make. Yeah. Because my voice is a little hoarse. As she draws it, a couple more tendrils fall off. We're going to knock a little bit more HP off. Bang. Okay. He's still hanging in there. Yeah, Bullet. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Bullet's going to hold till how? Howl. Okay, Howl, <laughs> we're going to try this because uh, this the, was the initial goal. Yeah. Howl is going to run behind Bang. Good. Yeah. And Bullet is going to try to tabletop him. Okay, like talons forward, kick him over the back of Howl. Knock him over. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully, should that succeed, then Milo can come up and try to manor vines, restrain him. I love it. Um, I'm going to say... For this, Bullet, give me a good roll, like dex <laughs> or strength, whichever's okay. better. Okay. And I'm going to roll in front of you, even though I don't think the cameras will be able to see it. Um, mm. I'm going to roll a bang check Okay. to not fall over. Sure. Um, and I'm going to run and I'm going to grab his stats real quick. Um, and I'm going to grab his stats from before all of this nonsense happened. Okay. Because this is the bang that you're dealing with. Yeah. It's not... The other one. New spooky bang. Yeah. So his strength is not 20. Yeah. Strength is 18. That's garbage. So, yeah. So it's, Terrible. it's plus four. And it's a oh, nine. We so both rolled nines, but he is a higher modifier. Okay. As you impact with bang, bullet talons forward. They're... That other kind of like corrupted arm of bang that mm -hmm. all the fingers have just kind of faded away and become these long tentacles mm -hmm. just lash out and start wrapping around your talons so milo as you start to run up you go oh that didn't work yeah we get to bang's turn wait do i get can i like go you can, still yeah you can change your mind okay. if you want i want to try to tackle him myself with the shield Okay, so here's what I want you to try do. Try to break that. Um, I'm going to maintain his 13 okay. for ease of this because he's trying not to fall over. Okay. And I want you to roll with your intelligence modifier okay. to try to knock him down. <sighs> 10. 10. Not enough. All right, you impact as well. Shield forward and Wadsworth looks to you and there's this glimmer of like respect and admiration in his eyes. He's like, finally, we are on the field fighting together. This feels right. As your shield impacts Bang, you just see him size up for this ridiculous lunge. He's going to tackle out towards Bullet, who's currently like in his face, okay. pecking towards him. As he kind of throws you off, mm -hmm. he's going to go for a maul okay. on Bullet. Sure. Uh, and it's bad. Uh, it's a 10 to hit. No good. With a plus 8. Look at that. Woof. Woo! Okay. Yeah, Bang begins attempting to maul towards Bullet, but there's kind of a whole mash around you. And mm -hmm. as he le as he lunges out, Howl, thinking that he's leaping at you, just bites him in the back and kind of pulls some of these tendrils towards him. Okay. Um, we get to the bottom of the initiative order. Yep. Is anybody else on your team doing anything? Yeah. The observers. Um, the watchers. Yes. Uh, Titania hearing that combat is taking place yeah. is going to try to make a go to hop out of the treehouse okay. and... Uh, use a, one of her wings to zip line down a rope to <laughs> get the to most performative the titania thing I've ever heard. Action. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of commotion and noise, so she will do a stealth check to try to bypass okay. the observer Monty. I'm gonna have so this will be a little weird. Okay. Titania, I want you to make a, a stealth check for me. Okay. So use your dexterity, and I want you to go against uh, Monty's passive perception. Okay. So his wisdom score. 
Okay, so his is a 12, so yeah. she's got to beat a 12. Yes, yeah, so you got to beat a 12. And she's got a plus one, so it's got to be a 12. Yeah. Oh, it's almost a crit, but it is a 10. <laughs> okay. So, Titania, mm -hmm. in your mind's eye, you go, I, I can slide down there. I can get involved. Mm -hmm. Monty, mm -hmm. you're watching this corral of individuals. You see Titania, your problem child. Yep. Your puppy coated in knives. Yep. That wants to get involved. How do you mm -hmm. stop her? Um, she starts running. Monty is going to. Uh, he's smart. He's got good intelligence. He's quite smart. He is going to envision a treadmill underneath. So she's not going anywhere. Very and it's good. too fast and it brings her right back to him. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Titania, as you're running. Any minute now, you're going to reach the end of this treehouse. <laughs> you're tiny, but you're pretty sure you can get there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, bringing us back over to the dealio. Mm -hmm. uh, back up to the top. We're going to go back to Wadsworth. Yep. Um, Wadsworth is going to attempt to do confusion. Amazing. Uh, what needs to happen? Charisma with check. Confusion. A charisma check. Yes. Oh boy, old school bang stats are gonna haunt him here. Okay. Um uh, Awesome. So a charisma saving throw with a plus one. Um that's a seventeen. Oh dang, well done. In this moment, Bang's yeah. feeling very charismatic. He kind of resists as he's sort of flailing around. He gets his gets his bell rung, metaphorically speaking. Okay. But he holds it together. No dice. Um, we're going to jump down to Violet unless Wadsworth wants to do uh, any kind of moving or mm. minor actions. I think he would position position himself like next to Milo, but otherwise, no. Okay. Um, he kind of like locks up with you and is like, this is my boy. Yeah. Um, and we will go over to Violet. Very good. Um, and Violet... Um, Is there a bonus action uh -huh. in which Violet could attempt to gain the enmity of Bang and become the tank, so to speak? Yeah, like call him out. Yeah. Just quick jab, be like, over your eyes on me. Yeah. I'll allow it. Um, um, let's do... Can, to make it a thing. She could, and I'm thinking... Yeah. Maybe be like, okay, I'm going to distract him for a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sheath the sword and say, uh, you know, you want to, uh, you're the fist fighter. You want to do some fisticuffs and kind of put up her mitts, uh -huh. get his attention. Should it succeed, then mirror image. Yeah. Let's do uh, from Violet. You can make either performance mm -hmm. or just straight wisdom, whichever one you would prefer. Um, performance being like, hey, I'm right here, buddy. Yeah. And wisdom, digging deep into your memories of old school bang. And being like, you you want to go? You want to okay. go three rounds in the ring? Uh, an eight. An eight. Okay. Plus one charisma over here. An eight. Mm. I will say bang meets your challenge. Okay. So are the rules of rollies. Okay. And then... So Bang spins to look at you, Violet, and is yeah. like, oh, you want to go? And yeah. kind of like starts to leap out as... Mirror <laughs> image, baby. As four of you appear. Okay. And you all just, they kind of just circle around, and Bang's like, oh, no, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. All right, Violet. Uh, moving on from you, we have Bullet. Yep. Um, okay, Bullet is going to... Um shake loose uh -huh. from that yeah and break your foot out of there uh taking the opportunity at violet's distraction prepare for a fly okay go yeah, up you... vertically up you go you um, fly up into the sky and due to the distraction uh -huh. and the uh availability go full movement speed up okay yeah i'll have you keep track of that um, as bullet, you just you zip up into the yep. into the skies, you fly away. Howl. Um, howl is gonna howl. 
Okay. And, howl lets um, out that beautiful, beautiful howl. And he is going to boost uh, the damage got... of Wadsworth Violet Bullet and me. Oh, okay. Uh, speaking of, of Milos, mm -hmm. do you want to do anything? Because uh, you can act when Bullet does. You're on the same initiative. Gotcha. Um, so we'll being the point of contact, um, I am going to attempt uh -huh. to create within the manor a trap okay uh next to would i be able to uh, or could i roll a check to see if i can tell which violet's real um i'll say that you know violet and also from behind there's probably like a shimmer okay around three of them it's like a perfect recreation from the front okay but from behind she's still learning you're okay. like oh that one's missing like a leg or something okay like, where's um, your back half? How are you doing this? So uh, I'll say yeah. Okay. Then the trainer. In front of the real Violet, I want to make a um, sticky tar trap. Okay. Um, Beautiful. Yeah. All right. So, so what I'll, what we'll do right. is I'll say Bang um, is going to attempt to strike Violet now. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. If he hits the real Violet, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll deal with the trap. Sure. Um, he's going to try to maul you for an 18. That's gonna be good. Um, so he has to roll, uh, I think, a D4, right? Is that how we did it? Uh, when Violet takes damage, so yeah, or be targeted by an effect, roll a D4 on a one, she takes damage. Okay, so go ahead and uh, give me a shot here. On a two to four, eliminate one of the mirror images. It's a three. A three, okay. So Bang leaps out and absolutely tears to shreds a, a fake one. Violet. Okay. But lands on the ground, and you're like, the torch The torch <laughs> It's okay. I just, that's yeah. perfect, because now he's in a spot distracted yeah. for the other thing. So uh, we're going to jump back to my affectionately referred to as the peanut gallery. Okay. Any of your excess team that want to do anything? Uh, Arjun's going to continue the search. Okay. Arjun, give me a... Roll me a D4, because I'll say your dowsing rods are helping. Okay. Roll me a D4, any of them. Um, and that'll be how many rounds it takes you to find this. Two. Two? Okay, so we're going to come back to Arjun in two rounds of combat. Cool. Um, and we'll say he finds it, and then it'll take him one round to get back. Okay. So in three rounds, he will be back with a thing. I, that's why I brought Atticus. Yep. So he can hand it to Atticus, and they could zoom me it in. Sure. Then okay. I will say in two turns, uh, Atticus can fly in with the device. Okay. We'll go with that. Perfect. That'll be nice and easy. Um, okay. Then, yeah, again, in this room... Uh -huh. um, You've got like Derby and Eunice, yep. uh, Shimmer, Moonraker. They're all hanging out together up in the tree. Hanging out makes it seem really casual. They're kind of like hunkered down in case they need to jump into action. Yeah. Um, Titania is going to be kind of cacawing at Monty, being like, I want to partake. in." The There's a fight going on, yeah. and I want to be a part of it. Shimmer is reading the vibrations or lips or beak or whatever yeah. of Titania and here's there's a fight going on and sees that and is thinking oh we should help okay because she can't hear doesn't understand has just yeah. been corralled and like oh we were going this way but there's actually an emergency over here yeah and she is gonna make a break for it okay perfect uh, Shimmer, you have many... No stealth. Yeah, you have many tools at your disposal to yep. get where you want to be. Mm -hmm. um, so if it is your wish, we can just throw Shimmer into the initiative. Um, okay. Because we're we're sort of operating in mana rules. Yep. So um, I'll throw Shimmer in there and then go ahead and just give me uh, an initiative roll. Sure. Um, with this... 60 feet's plenty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Shimmer is heckin' fast. All your um, birds are, Yeah. to be fair. I tapped them all with the feather. You did. I've been waiting for you guys to do stuff with that. Yep. Um, it finally happened. A 10 a on the 10 initiative. A 10 on the initiative. Um, and... Look at that. It just slots right in there. It's amazing. Um... Monty is going to instruct the four good kids. Yeah. Uh, that he has the ones to that go. Behave. Yeah, has to go get Shimmer. Okay. Please try to maintain Titania. Okay. Derby, use your mud if you have to. 
All right, Derby just goes. Wah, wah. Folds um, it up, remembering your training. We'll see if Derby can even hit Titania, and Monty's gonna fly out. Okay. And try to get Shimmer. All right. But not not yet. Like but just like, get up on the to space. Just get up there and be like, hey, it's yep. not safe. Yeah. Okay. And that is a six. Six. Perfect. So Montgomery, Montgomery. Roll me a six. Amazing. Um, and Derby will try to uh, distract and or if Titania is not distracted, try to uh, pen Titania with uh, mud, a, okay. an arena like they've been prone to do. Very good. Um, okay. If it is Titania's intention to escape, let's do rollies. Okay. Um, Derby to keep her up there, Titania to jump down. Okay. In spite of that. Yep. Uh, Derby wins. Derby wins. Titania, you expecting an arena, mm -hmm. you preemptively jump, but you give Derby like a ton of time to be like, oh, okay, wall. <laughs> <laughs> and you kind of get caught in the mud okay. as it kind of like cakes in and dries, and you're like, no, and you're for, temporarily, you're bound okay. for a bit. Uh, but jumping us back to the top, we got one more round until Arjan will pop in. I'm going to have him come in at the end of the next round of initiative. Okay. Um, Wadsworth. Okay. Um, Topping us off. Yeah, that uh, confusion. Bang is taking two good hits. Did not work. Uh, so he is going to go for a another good swing at the Icker with awesome. his sword. Yeah. No roll required. Okay. You managed to carve off a little bit more of this stuff. That's three good hits on Bang. Bang takes a little more damage. Is it like... Um, for my context, yeah. is it like Bang is there and there's things coming off of him, yep. or is it like okay? Because yep. it's, it's like it's not a, like it's like a roll of bread. Yeah, but there's mold on most of it. But okay. if you cut beneath okay. just enough, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was yeah. like that or if he's like in a big pudding to say like there's a big shape around him. No, it's definitely like things okay. are growing out. But okay. every time you have carved through, you've been good. But yeah, Wadsworth, you managed to carve off a few more layers of this kind of tentacle slop. Mm -hmm. You do another good hit to, to, uh, to bang. He's taken three so far. Violet. Um, Violet is going to focus energy. Okay. And Comet Punch. Comet punch bang? Yeah. Okay. Let's get some uh let's get some attack rolls for once. Six punches. Oh boy. Okay. Let's do that. This, this could way. be good. Three at a time here. Yeah. A you gotta be the fifteen. Uh da, 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 plus four to the roll. Uh plus four, so it's eight. So two twelves and a twenty-one. That was rough. So one hit so far. Uh, and yikes, that's a fort and a crit. So one hit and one crit. One hit, one crit. Yeah. Okay. And we're going back to doubling what I roll, right? Yep. Okay. So this, uh, we'll say this is the crit die, so whatever that Amazing. is, we'll double. Yeah. Ooh, wow. 17, 25. Pretty 25? good for two dice. Okay. Um, I will throw you a bone Bang is bloodied, mm -hmm. but you do not know by how much. Okay. Um, the a, a bit of energy kind of like flashes into Milo's mind mm -hmm. from the the Mutahadith Kathir. Mm -hmm. You must subdue Bang. Yeah. You must not kill him. Yes. But he must be weak. Yes. So you got to get him real close. Okay. Got it. So you may have noticed I haven't told you how much damage you've done. Yeah, I did. But he is quite he is okay. quite bloodied now. Yeah. But by how much you do not know. Okay. Bullet. Yep. Good luck. Um, bullet. Oh, God. Bullet is going to do so much damage. <laughs> Bullet's going for a fly. Uh huh. Oh, my God. Bang's going to die for sure. All right. I kind of want you to miss. Um, bullet was doing bullet. a fly. Yeah. Strike down at the target. Uh, well, let's just see if it hits. Uh, natural 20. Yeah. Thank God, not a crit. Um, yeah, that's 2d10 plus 12d6. Yeah. 
Uh, there's a chance. Yeah. We, we're looking for a lot of ones. Yeah. Just a lot of ones. Uh, that's 16 on the D10s. 16 on the D10s. Yeah. Um. Okay. And I said 12. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the first round. Uh, a lot. Um, that's another 17. Okay. Oh my god, another 17? What well, was the first one? was a 17, right? Uh -huh. I've rolled three 17s in a row. Uh -huh. Um, and a 17! <laughs> How is that possible? 17 times 4 is, uh, 68? 68. You would have left Bang at 4 hit points if he was at full. Yeah. Um... For dramatic effect, mm -hmm. and to make this as awkward as possible for everybody. For sure. Uh, we're going to close out today's session as Bullet sees Bang <laughs> size up Milo. Mm -hmm. And there's a glimmer of recognition as Milo, you're like, Bang, come back to us. Mm -hmm. As Bang reaches out, Bullet, you take this as a, an act of hostility. And you dive down hard. Yeah. As you hit Bang for just so much damage, you grab him by the arms and you slam him through the wall of the manor into the, <laughs> into the foyer. Okay. As Bang lands kind of like battered and bloodied, fully dead okay. in front of you. Yep. As you run out, Milo, mm -hmm. And you survey this. Mm -hmm. We'll pick that up. <laughs> okay. Next time. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next in the next one. With Bullet's overzealous and protective maneuver leaving Bang dead on the floor, Milo can only wait for his friends to enter the manor and try to explain what happened. If you enjoyed this episode of Boarding Party, please consider leaving a like on the video to show your support. If you'd like to see more of the Tots and stay up to date on the Laris region, why not subscribe to the channel? If you'd like to help us out in other ways, you can follow the links in this video's description box to the Patreon. From there, you can join the discussions in our Discord servers, or check out the post show, still rolling, to get a recap of every session with myself and the crew. There are also links if you'd like to check out some boarding party merch, and let us know in the comments below what you thought about the other side of the story, and the attempt to help Bang. Thank you so much for watching, We'll catch you next week when the rest of the Tots deal with a Lipard and the fallout of today's events.